Hey guys, I'm Mix Luigi, and welcome back to me talking about nothing for like 20, 20 fucking minutes. <laughs> anyway, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little giggly today because I know what the background is, and I know it's creepy. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'll probably forget to put the link in the description, but this video is so funny. And I could be showing you the even creepier half of the image, but I won't. I'll let you go find it for yourself. You remember when the Wii U came out and it had like a camera? It was like a camera on the gamepad. And you could like, instead of like designing your me, you could like take a picture of your face. This is one of those me's. Someone took a picture of their face. And just, there it is. <laughs> Oh my god, and you, oh god, the picture, oh my god, so horrible and hilarious at the same time. Some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you know exactly what this is, a lot of you probably won't, but <laughs> it's so beautiful. Anyway, oh my god, um, today was normal, I guess. Um, my friend brought me a bookshelf, that was awesome, she's great. Anyway, um, I thought it was going to be seven feet tall, and I was like, oh, all right, I'll just, I mean, seven, sure. I mean, I need, I have a lot of crap to put in a bookshelf. Well, it was six feet tall, thank God. So that's good, because it was like, wow, closer to seven feet. I don't know about that. <laughs> but it's, I mean, I'm going to probably put it like over there where my games are in this little cardboard box. <laughs> so I put them there, put them in a shelf instead of in a fucking cardboard box. <laughs> It'll be cool. It'll be real cool. I got a lot of games. I have like a little tiny... I don't even, is it a rack? I have like a little small like CD rack for my DS games over there, but it's still... There's not enough. Which is... I mean, it looks cool. But I don't get to, I don't get to see it much because it's over there. Like, I don't go over there much very often right now. Lately. Lately is the word. I, I get up out of bed and I come over to the computer and eat breakfast and go to work and come back home and... and Sit on the couch and then take a nap and then go out and eat and then come back and then watch Dragon Ball and then then I come up here and do this. So you know I don't go over there and play video games over there on my TV anymore, my beautiful CRT in all its glory. And it's just alone, and cold and sad. Uh, anyway, so I was I was looking up like I don't remember what I was looking at. I think carbon dioxide. I think yeah. Okay, so. Here, looking at carbon dioxide, and I found this. Yeah, this is exactly what it was. So I was looking at the so dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide, and it says it says it here. And then I remembered that triple points exist because apparently pressure can also affect states, like whether or not something's a liquid, solid, or gas. Didn't know that. <laughs> okay, sure. But uh, like I think like. Like, they do something with, like, paint cans or, or something. Anyway, there, there are cans, there are spray cans where inside it's a liquid because it's under more pressure, but when you spray it, it's a gas, obviously, so it's like, it's like, like what? Anyway, so there's this concept of, of you can create a certain, you can put a substance in a certain temperature and pressure, and at this point here, uh, it will. There will be a solid and a liquid and a gas in the same, at the triple point, in the same container. You can have a solid and a liquid and gas of of a substance. But then this other thing over here, I don't know what exactly that is, and I was trying to figure it out. And it's like they had all these like temperatures and pressures listed for like when you can get to the critical point for certain substances and elements, and they didn't have one for iron. And I was like, what? Yeah, here, yeah. So it had all these things listed, and then it was like, uh, <laughs> and aluminum too. But I didn't really, I didn't even notice aluminum. I was like, <laughs> I was like what? So I was like, what the, what the, what? The, what? So this here is uh, blah blah blah, thermodynamic. Oh, that's the triple point. The triple point is where they're, they're good. They're all together and regular. But then it was like, what's the critical point of iron and all this crap? And apparently. You, like, uh, there's something about iron where if it gets, 
almost to melting it changes properties and then that's the problem and it was like what and I was kind of looking into that but I couldn't really figure out a lot of stuff that I was trying to figure out because it's a little too uh, it was a little too advanced for me I guess that was yesterday today I was trying to think of the name for the opposite world and kids next door and it was I eventually figured it out it was well, not the world, but like, because that's what it's called, the opposite world or whatever. But this is the name of the fucking, the DNK. God, it was so funny. <laughs> I was like, trying to think, I try, I thought the D stood for like, was like a, like a, you know, because the kids next door, I knew nefarious kids. I knew what N and K were, but I thought D was like the group of nefarious kids or some bullshit. So I was like, what's it? I was like, dad, what is a a word that starts with D that means a group. And he gave me all these cool words. And I was like, dang, that's not it, but those are great those are great uh, suggestions. And so I looked it up instead. <laughs> and I didn't tell him I was trying to think of the D and K. <laughs> I looked it up and I was like, oh, it's an adjective. And he was like, give me, he was he went to work and he was still texting me all these things like, is it this word? Is it this word? And I was like, well actually I found it already and actually it's an adjective. He's like, okay, and then he gave me some adjectives, and I was like, listen, bro, dog, I found it already, dog. <laughs> anyway, I really loved this episode. You ever seen it? It's real cool. <laughs> Look at this crap. Um, okay, thanks. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Am I going to get copyright strike for this? You know, I've never actually been so dynamic with my screen with these videos before. I'll just... What's interesting about this is that number four is the leader of the DNK, so he's up here. And then number one is down here, where number four usually is. Anyway. <laughs> Crazy, right? And he's got a goatee? Why? Why does he have a goatee? Why does negative number four have a goatee? <laughs> I'd never got that, ever. It's so funny. Anyway. Um, I don't know if there was anything else I wanted to talk about. Also, this is so funny. Okay, so you know how... <laughs> okay, I'll say this before I go. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, there's another thing. But So, uh, there's a villain in Kids Next Door called Father. And his counterpart in the negative world is... <laughs> oh, God. Well, he's, he's a good guy, per se, but he's also kind of a coward. But they... Oh, my God. I guess you could guess. His name is his daddy. <laughs> god, I can't even speak that word. Oh god. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's so disgusting. But the episode is great. Go check it out. God, it's so funny. Anyway. Um so we ended up like trying to so there's more there's still raccoons in our fucking roof. But we were trying to plug the hole so that they wouldn't get back in there. But we plugged it, and they're still in there. So they've been scratching against the plug. So what we did was we went and bought, like, a, a one-by-one one of, like, of sheet metal. And, like, lined it up with the hole and, like, caulked it and nailed it. And apparently the raccoon was in there. So now, like, we hadn't heard it for a few days, so we're like, okay, it's a good time. It's probably not in there. Well, it was in there. <laughs> so now we hear it every night. And it's scraping against like the metal, trying to get out of there. And it can't get out of there, obviously. So I'm going to have to go back up there and take the nails out and rip the damn sheet metal off the wood. And hope the wood doesn't come off with the caulking. You know, because metal and tar and wood are so easily re removable from each other, or however you'd say that. It's, it's not going to go well. <laughs> but we'll just have to wait until it leaves and then, and then reseal it, I guess, so it won't get back in there. But that's just a temporary fix. You know, how we gotta we gotta fix the hole in the chimney eventually. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Anyway, uh that's all I wanted to talk about. Um I hope that you guys are having a good day. I hope your lives are going well. Uh, if they're not, just remember that you can't improve if you're not there. You can't you can't fix something when you're not around. Uh things cannot improve uh for you if you're not you're not like present, you know, again, I mean, I know it sounds like it's wrong and it's bullshit and that's all people ever say, but there's always 
you know, there's always ups and downs. There's always a dark before a dawn. It's always going to get better. It's going to be good, and then it's going to be bad, and it's going to be good, and it's going to be bad, and that's kind of how life is. But over time, the average between the good and the bad is better. You know, the, the bad becomes less bad, and the good becomes better. And I promise that, that you know, there's more light in the future. I just hope that you believe that. Because I wouldn't lie to you about it. I promise I wouldn't. I've seen I've seen other people's darkness and I've seen some of my own darkness and I'm just I'm telling you that the the light is stronger, you know. And you can find it. You can have some. It's there. You hold out, you know. And also, all your dreams, dude. <laughs> you know? Get a job, save some money, and then tell the job to fuck off. <laughs> do what you want to do with your life. Go back to college. Don't go to college. Whatever. Love you. <laughs> Have a great day.